There are wolves in the city. Oh yes. In the streets, in the parks, in the alleys. In shops, in rusty playgrounds, in houses right next door. And soon, they will come. They will come for me and for you, and for your brothers and sisters. For your mothers and fathers, your aunts and uncles, your grandfathers and grandmothers. No one is spared. Listen to me. Listen! I used to have a family, a home. These streets were my rivers, these parks my valleys. Now I am scrooched up in one room, in a musty basement, heavy curtains across the windows. I peers through the curtains. I peers at the strange streaky sunsets. The city is hush, the traffic long ago gone. Only now and again do I hear the swish of a bicycle. I don't need to squint out the window to know that the rider is glancing over his shoulder, terrified. I long for blue skies, I long for it to rain, but the seasons are topsy-turvy. Sometimes I open the door a chink and it creeps up the stairs to ask my neighbour if she can spare some water. Mrs. Radinsky's very kind, but she won't listen about the wolves. You need to get out more, she says. Go back to school. Take up a hobby. She doesn't understand about the wolves. She thinks I'm talking about those lovely, wild creatures running in the woods. That's not what I mean. Not at all. These wolves are hatefuls and hating. They are in the city. They are everywhere. They spare no one. Listen. Listen. Listen, Mrs. Radinsky. One day, Mrs. Radinsky does listen, but she says, why do you call them wolves, Ben? You know that can't be. Can't it, I say? You must have seen their shadows, missus. You must have. No, she says. I haven't seen any shadows, but I know she has. She has seen those shadows prowling along pavements, snarling up walls. That's why she stares up at the sky when she goes searching for water with her little bucket. She often trips, grazes an elbow, knee. I don't blame her for not looking down. Early one morning, when I'm squinting out the window, I see a blue sky, a blue sky with soft, white clouds. My heart leaps, things are back to normal. Suddenly I'm out of my room, out of the building. I'm running across the street, I'm touching the sky, hugging the sky. But it's not a real sky. Someone has painted the wall blue. A hot summer blue, a blue like all those summers long ago. The wall is starting to darken. There are shadows all over it. Wolvish shadows crawling, crawling towards me. I cannot move. I shut my eyes. Then something grabs me. Mrs. Radinsky is here, barefoot, hair unbrushed, as if she's just left out of bed. She is trembling. She holds me tight. She pulls me back to the building, helps me up the stairs, puts a blanket around me, holds me as she would a small child. It will all be fine again, one of these days, I am sure, she says, as she creeps back to her own room. I now have no more furniture to burn, very little food, not much water. For three days I tap on Mrs. Radinsky's door. Hello, I whisper. It's me, Ben. Mrs. Radinsky, but she doesn't answer. On the fourth day, I knocks again. Turn the handle. Unlocked. I checks the lounge room and the dining room. They are a Mac, not a thing out of place. But there is a skeeting of dust on the table. 
I run to the bedroom, hoping she is sleeping, perhaps ill, but nothing. She is gone. Only her smell is still here. Sunshine. Soapish. Oh, Mrs. Randinsky. I think of her at the mercy of the wolves. I think about the time she ran out to rescue me. She was so very afraid, but she still came. She still came. I ransacks the cupboards, grabs a bag, stuffs in warm clothing, tinned food, matches, a torch. Before I leaves, I scrawl a message in the dust. I've gone looking for you, your friend, Ben. Then I shifts the bag over my shoulder, shuts the door and goes out of the building. I stares at the painted wall. It is now as dark as the sky at midnight, but underneath, I know it is a hot summer blue. My heart is jackhammering, but I will no longer let the wolves force me to scrooge. I will no longer let them stop me from making the streets my rivers and the parks my valleys. Join me.